All right, so this is gonna be a quick review, demonstration, and possibly repair of the Hit and Run Pinball Game. It is by uh, Ideal. It is from 1976. And it is more or less working. I will point out some issues. Um, but it's kind of an interesting game. And there's the box. I do not have the instructions. It came with a score sheet. Uh, these guys, looks like Mike really played with this. There's a rare uh, double no hitter. I can assume that they came with nine guys from, you know, nine blue, nine red. There's almost a whole extra set for some reason. Marble wise, it looks like they came with eight. Again, I have like three extra. Here is the box. One of the things it says is that it's a single, double, triple, or home run. You never know until the players run the bases. Um, it's the automatic baseball machine. And again, hit and run pinball game. Box is in decent condition. A couple of things about the setup. This piece uh, goes in here, and you're gonna see that it, it basically takes the runners off the base. It was cracked when I got it, so I glued it together and I reinforced it with some plastic. The other piece that I didn't have is this here. Um, and I already got it in place, but what you're gonna see is that when the ball comes up, sometimes if you hit it hard enough, it bounces off of here and comes right back. And if this wasn't here, it would allow it to go back in. So I just kind of very messily uh, printed, uh, not printed, I wouldn't even call it, use this, and it basically works. This little green piece, it already had tape on it. It's supposed to keep this piece in, but it wasn't doing it. Like there's tape from when I when I got it. So I have it taped down to keep it in place. So let me show you how this thing works. So what you do is you get a batter. The batters have little notches on them that go into these slots. So I just put them there. Let's see if I can get them in there. There we go. And then obviously I put a baseball in and I take a swing, so to speak. So that's a strike, 0 and 1. So that's an out. So there's one out. So oh, that's a ball, 1 and 0. That's a strike, 1 to 1. Let me see if I can actually get a hit here. So there's, oh wow. So there's a hit. And if it works right, and again, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, the guy turns. The, the ball, you know, so the ball got stuck there. And this is where it kind of works, but it kind of doesn't. Okay, so got a hit, single. So I put another guy up. Let me see if I can get another hit. Otherwise, I'll just kind of fake it. Try one more. I'll put you out of your misery. Okay, so I'm just going to drop the marbles down. So there's another hit. They all advance. And again, I do this to kind of, it has to click in, put another batter up. And again, this would be assuming I'm not getting, I'm not out, I'm not getting an out. So another guy's up, another hit theoretically. They all advance. Okay, so they're coming through. So again, sometimes they come through, sometimes they don't. Pretend bases are loaded. There is another batter up, okay? And if I get another hit, what should happen is that. It should knock them off, right? Um, and again, I should be cocking it in between to get a full, I'd be cocking it because what happens is there's a spring in here and the spring winds down. So you got to pull this back to rewind it. So, um, and again, this is not completely going into place. So that's, that's where some of the issues are. So another hit. So that worked how it's supposed to work. Theoretically, you're supposed to be able to get a single, double, or triple. But every time I've tried it, I've only gotten a single. Um, but you're going to see if uh, I hold this down, it can go a lot further than that. So there's something that's not quite working. Uh, when the marble comes through, it can hold it down, and you can get a single, you can get a double, you can get whatever. Uh, so, so there's something inside that's restricting it and always giving me a single. Um, I don't know if it's just not lubricated enough. So again, here's a single. Here's a double, okay. That's a triple. And if you get the marble in there long enough, it can be a home run. Okay. So the mechanism is not working perfectly for sure. Um, and that's where I'm gonna decide whether I wanna to try to fix it or not. Just a bit of a close up of the, the lever here that's being pushed down. So push that down and it turns. Keep it pushed down and it turns. 
at some point it stops spinning. And I'm gonna show you in a second, it's because this, this spring obviously, um, you know, is no longer wound up. And again, you rewind the spring by pulling this back. Just to show you the underside, there are two feet. There's two shorter ones here. And then there is a longer one here, okay? Um, this is, you know, like you can, release the tension on the spring, it's called the storage position. So if your plane is not working, do make sure that you've moved it to the play position for sure. Um, you're gonna see there's not a lot of screws. So I'm gonna unscrew this and show you how oh, pulling this back rewinds it. So I pulled out the three screws and open this. Uh, I opened it previously, it was glued in one spot. So I had to actually pop that. Here you're gonna see uh, that kind of what recocks, re-tensions the spring. So if I get a hit, that moves up. Okay, so now it won't do anything. So it's it's kind of spent the... Um, so I got to pull this back, and you can see that arm go, and it catches. Okay, so again, now I theoretically get a single. Or if I get a double, I'll make sure that went too far. But you can see what happens. So there is a little lip on the spring mechanism that you pull it back. Okay. It seems like like they have these things here, and it seems like, well, that might slow it down. If it comes in in a certain way, it might bounce and spend more time going down, so you'd get a double or a triple or a home run. But again, I've never, never gotten anything but a single. So I wanted to fix this because it was only giving me singles, and it seemed to me that a possible problem was the fact that it was, it was kind of squeaky when it turned and it was rubbing, so I felt it needed some lubrication. I wanted to open it. I tried, believe me, I tried. I, I tried pulling this whole thing up. I tried popping this cap, thinking there'd be a uh, screw underneath it. Unable to do it. I felt like I was about to break it. So what I ended up doing instead was I took um, some, you know, uh, duster stuff, you know, it's just compressed air. Uh, I was able to stick it in like here, here, and you can kind of pry it up a little bit, right? So you can pry it up, and I was able to uh, get it in there, blow out whatever dirt, and then I'm sure somebody's gonna have a fit, but I used WD-40. I looked online and said it was okay with plastic. Perhaps it is, perhaps it isn't, but I was able to use this nozzle and again, get into here. Um, I can't videotape it, but there's, there's gears in here. Right? It's just it's too hard to see. There's definitely gears in here. I got as close to I could and I squirted the gears. Uh, and then I you know, kept cocking it and kept turning it to kind of get it in there. And it does seem to be better. Before I show you the new improved version, uh, I wasn't happy with how this was. And so uh, what I did was I actually had to melt some of the plastic back because the, the extra I put in was getting in the way of it sitting. And then I actually am keeping this relatively loose. Okay, so it's not super loose. So now when I get it in here, um, it, it can sit a lot better. It sits a lot more flush. So now what I'm gonna attempt to show you is this new improved. And again, most of the hits are singles. And so, and again, I may have to just fake it again because, <laughs> so that was a single still. Again, so most of the times when it goes through, it's a single, right? So if I was playing the real thing, that guy's on first. Okay, so that's still another single, so that doesn't prove anything. But again, so now I got guys in first and second. So that's that's another single, and now bases are loaded. And again, hopefully one of these times it's actually a double or something, just so you can see that I'm not crazy. And so that didn't work very well, right? It was supposed to come around. And one thing I do, I forget to do sometimes is bring it all the way back to cock it so the spring is at full force. See, a double. I'm not crazy. See that, that was a legitimate double. What I don't know, of course, is whether you get doubles and triples as much. I've never gotten a home run. I did get a triple. Uh, but I never got a home run. The guys who land in here are theoretically the points. That's why I think they give you as many guys as they do. So it's still not perfect. You will see, like, so if I pull it back all the way and hold it, it moves more smoothly. It's not as squeaky and things like that. So that was a triple. 
Did you see that? I'm gonna do an instant replay. Uh, the infrequency of the double and triple to some degree makes sense, right? You wanna expect somebody to be getting a home run every time. I, I guess it's by how the ball comes down. I don't know if there's another factor that I haven't identified, but it is working. Um, if somebody's played this, please comment below. Is this about how it worked? Is there something I'm missing? So hopefully you like this demonstration. It is a cool little game. I appreciate it and I uh, enjoyed uh, playing with it, getting it fixed up a little bit better. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.